Germany. And we are doing a Red Bull Boar unboxing. Which is the main video that Ebony does with me. Red Bull Paw is a Australian grocery subscription um, that costs $20 a month regardless of where you live in um, Australia. It is bi-monthly. I will leave a link down below. The first thing every week that they give you is a magazine. This time it is the new idea for February 13th, so it's actually a slightly older one. Um, they are owned by, uh, Red Paw Paw are now owned by a company that also owns a whole bunch of magazines, which is why I get free magazine. Um, yeah, so that is the magazine this time. Um, I used to read those kind of magazines all the time nowadays. <laughs> There's a giant flat piece of it. The first things in here are from Mission, their low GI wraps. Uh, six wraps in there. Um, these are not gluten free or anything nice like that, they're just low GI ones. I'm sure somebody in this house will eat them. It won't be me, but somebody in the house will eat them. Again, we have got one of these coconut water things. This one is apparently coffee flavoured coconut water. Am I allowed to eat drink that? Um, it doesn't actually have, oh, it has coffee extract. It doesn't say that it actually has caffeine in it. It might just be the taste of coffee, but we will see. Last time I had one of these, I didn't really like it, so. You still don't like it, do you? It's kind of nasty. That didn't actually taste too bad. Mm. It it's has okay. this weird aftertaste. It tastes like um, iced coffee. If you've ever drank iced coffee, you'll know what I'm talking about. That's what it tastes like, is iced coffee. Next, we have some toothpaste. This is the Colgate Sensitive Pro Relief Repair and Prevent. So basically, this is Colgate's answer to Sensodyne, by the sound of things. Um, we can always use toothpaste in this house. There's lots of people, so that's not a bad thing. Uh, then we have from Azalea Cuisine, we've had one of their oils before, it was one that was like flavoured for like stir fries and stuff. This one is a baking inspired cooking oil, which has vanilla bean, almond oil and walnut oil. So this one is designed more for making cakes and stuff with, as opposed to the last one we had, which was more for putting in stir fries and that kind of thing. So the other one was like a savory. This one is definitely geared more towards sweet type you things. You use that in I could have, except my birthday cake's already been made. Oh. Um. I'll probably pass this one on. I am not a fan of stevia. Uh, this is the Natvia 100% natural sweetener with stevia in it. Apparently it's good for baking. Um, but I actually don't like the taste of stevia. And nobody, um, the main person in the family who's tried it, which is my partner, he doesn't like the taste of it either. Um, yeah. So I'm not sure what we'll do with this one, but, you know, I'm sure we'll find something to do with it. We can make our own so, this is different. This is from Heart and Soul, and this is apparently a soup kit to make a Thai green curry noodle dish with coconut, galangal, and kaffir lime leaves. So, uh, yeah, basically they give you everything except, like, uh, meat or vegetables of your choice. Um, it contains rice noodles, green curry paste, coconut cream, and real herbs. And the noodles are rice noodles, so they're gluten-free noodles. Interesting. I have never seen that before. Apparently it takes like 10 minutes to make 
green curry soup. Interesting. Interesting. Okay. And here's something that Evany will probably be quite happy with, or one of the other people in our house. This is the delicious Minestrone Pasta Mug Shot. It's a pasta spiral in sumptuous minestrone sauce with carrots and peas. Stick it in a cup, add some hot water to it. Bon appetit, basically. Um, yeah. So basically, it's like a cup of soup, but it's got like pasta in it instead of like other noodles. Yeah, yeah, we're getting there. I'm just looking. Um. So there are two of these BioGlan VLCD weight loss shakes. These are like um, OptiSlim or OptiFast. These are just the NutraSlim version by BioGlan. Um, they are both in chocolate. I'll add them to the supply of them that I've got that I'm supposed to be getting back into actually using. Um, Interesting that they put them in here. Uh, you should not go on a VLCD diet um, unless you are being monitored by a doctor. This actually can be quite dangerous if you don't do it properly. Um, and if you don't know what VLCD is, it's a very low calorie diet. Um, and generally when you're on a very low calorie diet, you are well below the recommended amount of calories. I know this because I was on one. We have two things left in the box. We have, from Table of Plenty, a Nourish and Go with banana, mango and yogurt. So it is a wholesome blend of stewed fruit, steel cut oats, Greek style yogurt and flax seed. So basically it's breakfast in a squeezy, one of those squeezy. tubey type things. Um, I'm sure somebody will enjoy having that for breakfast. It looks like you could use this to feed a baby. Uh, yeah, it does look like that. They started packaging them for adults so that they look like baby food. And the last thing in here is something we can actually taste test because... Whoopsie! And then I dropped it on the floor. Um, you said not a lot of taste testy type stuff in this one. It's mainly like stuff that actually requires work to be done to it before you can eat it. This is a pack of Ocean Spray Craisins Dried Cranberries. Uh, I'm not really sure why they're called Dried Cranberries Craisins. Because I would just call them Dry Cranberries. Because that's what they are. But I love cranberries. I don't really like cranberries. Do you know, as a girl... Yes, I, I don't like cranberries because they're made <laughs> out of crabs. Right. Cranberries are a wonderful thing for females in particular. Good thing I'm a female. They help with um, your urinary tract, making it less likely for you to get urinary tract infections, which is something that women need to worry about more than men. Um, yeah. I love They do actually put sugar on these, so they're not really that healthy, but damn, they taste good. Stolen. So, that was everything that was in this bi months box. Um, not my favourite box from them, actually. Like I said, not my favourite box. Um, yeah. But anyway, it's an interesting box to get if you live in Australia. It gives you a chance to try some things like I would never even have thought of, like this Heart & Co. Um, soup making kit thing. Um, unfortunately, it's only two serves. There's seven people living in this house. That could be a problem. Anyway, um, yeah, so it's good just to try out different things that you would not necessarily buy. And, you know, it's it always seems to be worth at least the $20, so I'm, I'm usually quite happy with that. So that is it for this video. If you want to subscribe, click down there. Don't forget to click the little bell so you get notifications when I upload a new video. Leave me a thumbs up if you like unboxing type videos. And leave us a comment down below. I try to respond to all comments. And I will see you in my next video. See ya! Yeah.